when I first started working on the soundtrack, I started working with these sounds that I had recorded. Uh, these gong-like sounds that are actually U.S. Army missiles, uh, but that was not really enough to flesh out a full soundtrack for the whole week for this Zen garden. And I started thinking about other sounds that would really relate to a, a Zen garden where you might sit and meditate about well, nature, if not your Buddhist nature, maybe just nature in general. And that uh, nature at Burning Man is really silent. There's, there's not the usual sounds that we hear in nature of things like animals. And the only animals we tend to hear are the, the humans running around loose. So I thought those would be really good elements for the, the soundtrack at the Zen Garden at, at the foot of the man. The soundtrack is computer generated and composed of 19 different scenes, such as a dawn bird chorus or just after a thunderstorm. The computer knows what scenes make sense to follow other scenes. So for example, if you hear thunder now, five minutes from now, you'll either hear an intense rainstorm overhead, or you might hear just a light rain as the thunderstorm bypasses you. All scenes get animal sounds added to them, again appropriate to the scene. I researched the animals normally found in the vicinity and also throughout the Black Rock Desert. The animals heard are appropriate to the time of day, so birds in the morning and coyotes at night, for example. The computer is assisted by rules like those and composes the rest of the soundtrack, which must last for the entire festival, one full and continuous week, 24 hours a day.
We are about to show you one of the largest sound installations in the world. Gala. Gala. Many sounds interact with visitors. When someone steps into the river, it will flow along with them. The exhibition takes you through four different seasons in four different cultures. There are 140 channels of audio, routed to 126 speakers, spread out over a thousand square meters of exhibition space. There are different types of speakers, some of which are hidden inside the walls. This provides a full sonic experience, mostly captured from nature. The artifacts and environments on display are supported by a vast soundscape. Go and have a listen, it's a permanent exhibition. <laughs> <laughs> 